everybody. I thought I'd show you how I make my mask. And I thought I would uh, show you start to finish. So the first thing, I'm not going to show you cutting this stuff out, but because you can figure that out. I cut out two um, pieces for the inner and one for the outer. And so the first thing I do, oh, and I also make my own ties. And what I do for that is I cut one inch strips and then I fold them and serge them. And that makes very nice ties. Here's a bunch I have done and ready to go. Anyway, so I have the ones that are matching this fabric. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get ready to make the part so I'm going to show you how I do that. First thing I do is I take two pieces of fabric, the, and I cut these seven by nine, and I iron them. I like to iron them really nice. This muslin right here, I don't know it. It doesn't seem like it's ironing up that nice. And there's some jaggedy edges, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to be um, serging this. So then, after I iron it nicely, I fold it in half so that the it's long and narrow. And then I take my measure thing at two and a half inches, and I mark down a little spot here, and then skip down here. All right, now we're going to go over to the sewing machine. So I take this piece and I make sure that my stitch is um, on normal straight stitch. And I open this up so that I have two layers and I have this crease. So I'm going to stitch. <clears throat> on that crease and I'm back stitching and I'm going to my little first mark back stitching <coughs> excuse me raising my presser foot and then coming down here to the mark back stitching all right so this is how I'm making the filter is the filter part of it. So I've stitched along here. <coughs> Excuse me. Frog in my throat. Skipped and stitched down here and then I clip my threads. Now I'm going to open it up like this and see that hole that's going to be for our now I go over here to the ironing board and I spread it out and then I iron it nicely and then I get my front fabric and I place it so that it's wrong sides together So we got the pretty side, and then we've got our side with our opening. See that? All right. Now the next thing I do, I'm going to try to do this so I do it right side up. Maybe I'll turn it over and do it. I want my flowers to be right side up. I try not to use pins because every... Um, every hole you poke is a potential place for some something to get in. So I'm just making two pleats here. The three pleat thing just I couldn't quite do it. And then I just clip the ends of this and I clip it in the middle towards the middle so that when I go down the side now see um, generally I like to do it so that you can see that slot. So I'm going to actually re 
do this one so that I can see where the slot is because somebody that receives this may not realize that there's a place for to put a filter or a mask or whatever in. All right, now we're going to go over to the circuit. <clears throat> several at a time so I don't um, you know just do one at a time but I am for you guys so I'm going to surge around all my sides and I usually start here where the clips are side. This is my favorite way to make a mask. It fits nicely and it looks good. And it's easy. Alright, so that's done. So I'm going to clip off all my little things here. Alright, so that's the inside of the mask and that's the outside. Now we're going to go back over here. Alright, so the next thing I do is I look and find out which, which is the top. You want your folds to go down. So this is my top. So I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to use a pencil and I'm just going to make a little mark here. Alright, now I need a piece of bias tape. So, let's see. I don't have very much bias tape, but this coral is kind of pretty. Looks like it would look pretty on that. Now what I set my, um, my uh, machine to now is the, uh, I call it the stretch elastic, but it's like... A zigzag that goes boing, 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 boing. You know what I mean? Instead of going like that. Anyway, that's what I set it to. So I start up here. Now this is one I'm going to put straps on. So I start up here where my my top is, my nose. That's the middle. And I'm going to put some seam binding on here. And sew it. And then when I get to the middle part, I'm going to put a pleat in. So, I'll show you how to do that. It just is a little bit, tiny little bit fiddly when you first start it. That's alright. Alright. So, I get it going. Then when I get pretty close to where my middle is, then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to make a little fold. Let me, let me bring the camera over here so you can see. Hopefully you can see that, that little fold. I can't see what that is being seen, so I have no idea whether you can see that or not. I apologize for the crappy camera work, but that's how it goes. So anyway, I fold my pleat, and then this is very narrow seam binding, but it's adequate especially with using that type of zigzag stitch that I'm doing. So I'm carefully folding this over this and stitching there. So you can tell the difference when you're stitching over a lot of layers. And that is how I make the nose pleat. And that takes the place of wire. And that is a lot nicer because then it doesn't get um, messed up in the wash. My friend is works in a nursing home and she said that somebody de um, donated a bunch of masks but they washed them and the wires rusted and came out and I thought how horrible. Somebody spent a lot of time making those. Alright so the next thing I do, see here's my mask. There's the pleat for the top. 
probably see it better on that side. So now all I'm going to do is put my straps on. So I'll take my two pieces that I made and I just find my ends. And then I just find the middle. So what I do when I find the middle is I put a clip on each one in the middle. So I don't have to keep trying to keep track of it. So then, <clears throat> where my clip is, I'm going to put that on the top because that will give me a little bit, just this much extra on the top as opposed to the neck portion because you need more to tie around that part of the head than, than the neck. So then I just put my clip on, then I get my other one, and I uh, put the, this is just my preference but I put so I can do them all the same I put the serge part towards the bottom or towards the middle I guess it would be so then I just clip that now I'm going to sew that on I'm still using that um, that zigzag stitch I wish I could think what that was called Back stitch, front and back. I don't um, worry about clipping super close. I'm trying to make lots of these, not make them too too hard. Too too hard. All right. This is pretty. This one's a pretty one. Now, I want to show you how to make one um, for someone who, well, let me finish this first. This is done. So what I do when I'm done with them is I lay them down and then I just <clears throat> tie it in a knot. Not a knot, a bow. That's that's silly. I always make sure that I give them instructions to wash these in a lingerie bag or even a pillowcase so that um, they don't have to spend a million years untangling ties or get mad and throw them away. So for those of you who have ones at home that you're using ties on, put them in a lingerie bag or something. Now this one I'm going to show you how I do the exact same thing, only I'm going to put elastic. So I forgot to cut the elastic, so hold on. I'll be right back. You can look at this pretty fabric. And I'm going to cut two pieces, seven and a half inches. <clears throat> I just decided at the last minute to do this video all right now this one you do just a little bit different and it's a little bit more fiddly i'm going to use this pretty coral again and this one i haven't marked yet so i need to find my middle and it depends on the fabric sometimes i use this uh, pencil here this is one of those transfer pencils but some of them I can't see it, like this has got pink and I can't see it very well. So, I use the other. Okay, now, this is where it gets fiddly. Because I'm going to put this on and a piece of elastic. But this getting started part is the hardest. And sometimes it helps if I just put a little clip on that edge, but I got to make sure that I have a place there that I can put my um, presser foot down. So if I can just take a couple of stitches, all right. So now I can take this off. So I'm going to go ahead and sew. I 
I really do like that um, stitch, especially when I'm using um, this very, very narrow bias tape, which is all I have. So now I'm back to the middle again, and I'm going to ma I'm making my nose pleat. And I tell you what, I would spend every night I would I would twist my wires to make my wires for the when I was inserting wires. I was using 26 gauge and and twisting it and oh my goodness it just would take me a long time every night just to make the wires for the next day's mask and boy when I learned this I was a happy girl now one thing I don't want to forget when I get down to this side is to put my other piece of elastic on because I've done that I've got to almost to the end and then it's like whoops you forgot your elastic because what I do is I make one kind or the other. Like I'll sit there and I'll make all the ones with the, the ties. And then I'll go and make the ones with the elastic. Now, for the healthcare professionals, I do the ties. But for the normal everyday people that are just going to be wearing them for short periods of time, I will do the elastic. But they get ear fatigue if the professional people have to wear these for long periods of time over their ears. So here we got a fiddly, fiddly one again. The, the last one isn't as hard. It's just that first fiddly part. And like I said, I cut my... Um, my elastic seven and a half inches and I probably have it in there I don't know at least a half an inch all right so I'm gonna clip that I love these wonder clips because they they really get a grip they have a really nice grip all right we're practically done these are not hard to make I just make sure I have my elastic that I'm catching it there. Sometimes it won't go, so I have to lift it up and get it going. Now this time I don't have to worry about making a tuck or a pleat because I only do it on the nose portion. I just have to keep, what I have to worry about is catching the bias tape. And I like this stitch because you can stitch off and on the bias tape and you know you're catching it on both sides. Okay, now I'm about down to the end and I'm talking. I don't want to forget to put my elastic in. Nope, I sure don't. Alright. Put my elastic in here. This one is done as well. So this is the kind with the elastic for the ears. And I will try this on. Not the most pretty model, but... So when, when it's like this, you spread it out because this needs to go under your chin. See, it's not, it's not a, a super tight, but I think it's definitely better than a lot of things that you could use. And this is not, my ear was bent. <laughs> this is not tight on my ears. It, and now, if I had to wear this all day long, it most likely would be. And I'm not worried about this, try, trying this one on, because everybody will wash these when they get them. Wash them in hot water. So that was how you make one with ties and one with elastics. Thanks for watching.
Bye.